Hello and welcome back to our video series on your PLR makeover. Now before we start making over our PLR products, we're going to need some PLR products. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and cover a couple of pointers on looking for, getting, and making sure that we receive what we purchased. That is, search for, acquire, and take inventory. Pretty simple stuff, but it's basic and a lot of times people will simply forget, especially the important one, and that is taking an inventory of your product purchase. Because now is the time to make sure you received what you purchased rather than, you know, whenever you actually break into it three or four months down the line when you think you might need it. So again, you want to cover these items immediately as soon as you purchase them, just like anything else. I mean, whenever you buy a pair of shoes from the store, you take them home, you want to make sure you got two shoes in that box whenever you get home. Actually, you probably want to do that before you leave the store. But that's the same thing. You want to make sure that you receive what you purchased and do so immediately after the purchase. Let's go ahead and start our search. The first thing I would suggest is to head over to your favorite search engine, mine being Google in this case, and just simply do a search for private label rights or private label rights products, or if you want to drill down even further than the three plus million results that you get with private label rights, then you may even want to specify the niche that you're interested in, private label rights, ebooks in gardening, for example, and then take your search from there and now my suggestion because I'm not going to get into any endorsements of a particular person or company that creates PLR products I'm going to leave that up to you as to making those choices I will give you some tips though here in just a second but what I would suggest though is one particular site and that is PLRwholesaler.com now Gabor's got a whole bunch of products here not only private label rights but master resale rights and yada 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 but what I'm referring to here is the free PLR products and the only reason I'm suggesting here is because for those novices or newbies that would rather get your feet wet and build confidence and background knowledge first before you start sinking mega bucks into buying private label rights products to then learn from those I would say that this is a great place to go pick up some PLR products some free PLR products go through the rest of this video series using these free PLR products as the guinea pigs if you will and then once you've got the confidence and the knowledge the background info on from having used these free PLR products then go ahead and make some purchases of some quality PLR products be it videos or audios or graphics or ebooks or articles and then follow through with the rest of these videos in this series with the purchase products and again you'll have that much more confidence that much more background knowledge to be able to do a much better job because well again you did so already having used the free products and now you've got the paid products and I think you'll uh, you'll you'll benefit much more by doing it this way again it's simply a suggestion but aside from heading over to this side here I'm gonna refrain from making any other endorsements or suggestions as far as where to go to buy those PLR products however a great tip two forms now there's hundreds of forms on the internet but these two are in my opinion the big dogs that is the warrior form and digital point form now these are free forms now they have some paid sections in here but I'm not going to get into that I want you to go to these forms if you have not done so already and sign up for an account and once you've done that there are sections within these forms where you can go in and introduce yourself simply go in put your name in there hey how's it going uh, I'm new to the forum great place you know blah 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 the idea behind this is I want you to find the sections that you feel are appropriate to ask this question for example in the digital point form you can head over to general marketing and simply ask what is the best PLR video membership site or where can I get PLR ebooks on gardening and you'd be surprised by the number of responses you're gonna get and the cool thing about this though is and be prepared because you will get some folks that are gonna blatantly advertise themselves which is fine because you will also get people that have had good and bad experiences with those folks and you will get a better as a result you'll get a better unbiased opinion and suggestions as to where to go to purchase your PLR ebooks or videos or audios and so on so in addition to the unbiased opinions on where to go to purchase these products 
you're also going to find a wealth of other information within these forms because as we go through this video series we're also going to get into making over your sales letters and the graphics that accompany the products that you purchase sometimes however you're going to find an excellent product but it's not going to accompany it's not going to be accompanied by a marketing package in other words you will have an excellent ebook or an excellent video in PR format but you will not have a resale sales letter or a resale graphics that go along with that product these two forms are great to go and find somebody that can do that part for you sometimes it's, it's just gonna it's inevitable you're gonna have to outsource somebody to create the sales letter or somebody to create the graphics for your mini site and these are two awesome places to go to find folks that have already done that and are willing to sell you a pre-made mini site or a pre-made sales letter that just requires a little bit of tweaking here and there or to find somebody that provides a service that will create those mini site graphics or those sales copies for you for a reasonable price now the sales copy and let me just tell you there are I mean to get quality sales copy is it, it could cost you and I'm not joking it can cost you an upwards of ten fifteen thousand uh, bucks now after you pick your job off the floor let me just tell you that that's really not what you're looking for to resell private label rights products that's something we're going to get into a little bit further whenever we get to the video on your sales copy makeover but just suffice to say that you will see folks in here that do a knockout job that is their job that is their career to make sales copy that sells those are not necessarily the sales copy that you're looking for for what you're trying to offer but again I'm kinda of getting beyond the scope of this video so these two forms are great to find resources unbiased opinions or resources to purchase your PLR products as well as any of the outsourcing that you may find yourself in need of head over to these uh, forums and sign up now once you've found and acquired or purchased or downloaded your free PLR products it's time to take an inventory and I've got a couple of folders here on my desktop simply for semi pseudo type organizational purposes but one is titled ebook and the other is titled video now then under the ebook this is the name of the product we purchased and inside of here we have a lot of goodies. The main thing you want to look for is the source product and the or the source file of the product you purchase. Anything beyond that is gravy. You also want to make sure you have a license in there. So you got the source product and the license. Again, beyond that, you're just lucky. For example, in this case, we've got graphics, we've got audio, we've got a video promo. I mean, you're not going to find this in every single PLR product you purchase actually you will probably rarely find video promo and audio along with the sales letter and graphics and the source of the ebook or source of the product you purchase rarely but in this in this case I just got lucky but mainly you want to get the source product in this case it's an ebook so here we have the source in both Microsoft Word and PDF we also have the sales letter in Microsoft and RD and HTML. That's perfect. And of course, the license. So, again, oh, and the as far as the graphics, we've got the PSD and the source of these products. Usually, with graphics, you're looking at PSD or Photoshop. With the source of the sales letter or ebooks, you're looking at Microsoft Word. And with the source of the videos, let's head on over there real quick. You're looking at a number of different formats, but WMV is one source. AVI is probably the more, more popular source. Of course, in other words, you can put these source formats into an into a video editor and be able to chop and you know edit and add to, take away from, and so on. For example, Flash or FLV or SWF or MP4. These are formats that are not editable you cannot put these formats into a video editor and do the same thing you can with these source files so again with a PLR video product you want to make sure that you've got a license and the source for that product anything beyond that is gravy in this case you've already got a made a pre-made video that's ready to be uploaded and sold I however would just disregard this I'd probably just toss this in the can because that's why we have PLR is to make our brand added to this 
PLR video. Then from there, we will convert it into a flash format, one that will be sold with our brand on there. So again, totally up to you, but that's the gist behind this video series is PLR makeover, not FLV makeover. Now we also have a sales page apparently, but no source for these sales, no source for the graphics. Not a big deal. We can either tweak these ourselves, make our own, like I was mentioning earlier with the help of the forums, you can outsource that. But the main thing we want to get here is the license and the source for our product. And that's pretty much it. That's the goal behind the inventory of your purchase. You want to do this as soon as you make the purchase, not six months down the line when you're ready to actually do something with it. You want to do so immediately. And another reason is that you do not want to, uh, say for example, you've got a video series you purchased of, say, 20 videos. Well, you want to go ahead and as tedious as it may sound, check all 20 of those videos. You either deal with the complete inventory now, or you can possibly be dealing with the support issues from your customers later on. Myself, I would much rather deal with the inventory now so as to not have mad or irate customers later on. That is pretty much it. After you have searched for, you've acquired, make sure you do your inventory. Make sure that within that inventory you have a license and the source of your product. And that's pretty much it, folks. That's going to bring us to the end of this video. I hope this helps you make a more informed purchase of your next PLR product. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.